Hi, and welcome to your next fat loss tip for females over 40. Yay! All right, so today's one isn't necessarily going to help you lose more body fat, but it's around um, measurements. So how do you actually go ahead and measure your progress? Now, we know I obviously this is all for females over 40. So we've all come from the same type of generation, the same upbringing, the same um, social events, etc, etc. So we know that we are slightly obsessed with the scale um, and what that number says on the scale and how that can sometimes dictate our mood and how we proceed through our day. Fat loss does not always show the extent on the scale okay so the scale can tell us so many different things it, it tells us our gravitational pull to earth it tells us a number it is simply data it, like take the emotion out of it it's simply just data it's information and but it also tells us you know how much fluid we have it shows us how much muscle mass we have it shows us how much body fat we have it shows us Many, many different things. Now, I know a lot of you probably have scales that tell us our muscle mass and tell us our bone density. Da, da, da. They're not accurate. OK, the only way that you're going to get that accurate level of information is through a DEXA scan. And here in the UK, you can only get that in a hospital, I think. But it's not something that is readily avail available to us general population people. OK, so the scale is going to fluctuate and in any one week I frequently see clients fluctuating up to five pounds in a week depending on what is going on with their life okay so hormones change the number in the scales how many carbs we've had changes the number in the scales the time of day that we have eaten changes the number in the scales when we've exercised changes in the number in the scales how much alcohol we've had changes the number in the scales okay so it is a number and I'm not anti-scale by any stretch of the imagination because I do think it is a very good method of tracking alongside other measurements okay so if you are trying to lose body fat it's essentially about losing mass we want to lose volume size so one other way that is really good is simply by doing your measurements from key areas now when I'm working with clients we measure bust arms around the top waist hips and each thigh OK, now, if we're losing body fat, those numbers will come down. The scale may not. And here is one reason why. So if you think about reducing body fat, but building muscle mass, muscle does not weigh any more than fat. So a pound of muscle is the same as a pound of fat. It weighs the same amount. But the space that it takes up in your body, muscle takes up much less space. So if you imagine a pound of muscle maybe takes up this fist size amount, but a pound of fat takes up this amount of space in your body. So you are going to, if you're carrying, say you're a living stone, but you've got a lot of fat, you're going to be bigger. You may be a size 14. If you're a living stone, but you've got high muscle density, you're still a living stone, but you could be a size 10 because you're much, much smaller. So look at other units of measurement and how you're progressing. So measurements is a good way. Progress photos is another good way. Using an item of clothing is another good way. So we've all probably got a pair of jeans in our cupboards that are slightly too neat on us. That could be your tracking mechanism. You could simply try them on once a week and check how they're feeling. Are they a little bit more snug? Are they looser? You know, that can be your tracking. Um, and we know we don't necessarily just want to, to look at our body changes for success criteria, but also look at fitness levels, energy levels, how much you're sleeping, how you're handling stress, how you're eating, um, how much confidence you have, what are you doing differently? All these different things are success criteria. So stop just using that one measurement and then allowing it to dictate how it makes you feel. Look at the bigger picture, okay? That is where change really happens. All right, so I hope this one has helped. Let me know below if you've got any questions or get in touch if something doesn't make sense. Okay, have a good day.